In this presentation we're going to take a short look at how to use and configure the feature cam to very cut interface. So I start feature cam through the start menu. We get the splash screen telling us the major version that's 2011 and with the software loaded I'm going to go to help about so you can see the major version here 17.9.3.06 also the licensing method is described here telling us the type of license this is using a hardware dongle um, and the um, expiration for support contract so I'm going to load up a file supplied by uh, Rob Walker from Delcam so this is a um, nice little um, prismatic example you can see on our operation list on the side of the screen here we've got a range of drilling roughing finishing uh, toolpaths on, on it quite a lot of operations here so we can display these using the simulation toolbar if you haven't got the simulation toolbar showing just go to view toolbars and check it okay and I like to dock it up here at the top of the screen so in common with most cam systems feature cam gives you different ways to display your toolpaths we've got a center line trace like this we've got a a different type of trace where it renders the tip of the tool we've got the uh, uh, 3D rapid cut which shows us the um, just shows us the results and we've got a form of um, internal machine simulation based upon the seal data ie not on G code so if we let this run we can see uh, it shows us something about the progress now building on top of these is the new feature cam to very cut uh, interface so let's see how we can use this well this is provided as an add-in so I've got options add-ins check the box here and this is where we select the add-in it's a, uh, a .bas file um, if you're familiar with uh, this type of customization you can open it up here um, and there is an error mess uh, a warning message which is issued to you if you do not have a valid feature cam to very cut uh, interface uh, license available so it is a license option thus a, a cost option now if it doesn't show it could be because as I've done here um, I've got the toolbar off which is the macros toolbar and I'm going to park that uh, park that up here click OK so if we hover our mouse over this you can see it says feature cam to very cut just click it and it activates this dialog so uh, there are a few options we need to go through here first of all we need to give the folder name to which we are outputting so if I just click on browse and I can choose the folder into which my new work is going to be exported the very cut project name this is taken and inherited from the name of the feature cam part so the name we see at the top here is automatically populated automatically automatically populates this dialogue we can override it if we wish now we can choose the very cut project the template that we're basing this upon so this is a regular very cut project with machine controller travel limits everything set we don't need to do anything with these two fields the control and the machine um, we check this option here MC program so this means feature cam to very cut will post process on the fly creating a brand new NC program for us in this folder name tools means that the tools from feature cam will be translated directly into very cut format stock solid means that a solid stock will be made and part stock 
means that we actually want to choose a design model which we have got already saved on disk as an STL model. So with all of these uh, fields completed we just hit export we can see the toolpaths are generated it's post-processed and then we get this um, this information dialog pop-up so I'll leave this di dialog up on the screen so we can just see what's happened so um, if I switch to the window that we used earlier you can see that we've got some files here sort by modified so these are the latest four files it's created for us the MCD is the MC is the CNC program name the TLS is the very cut tool library uh, the VC project is the very cut project and here's the stock so I can just double click on the very cut project or we'll use a shortcut to start this um, this application and now we see the very cut simulation using the data that we just um, just prepared if I click on tools we can see the different types of tool that we've got here um, in the case of uh, this one here you can see we've got a, a certain um, uh, tool length with a certain flute length we'll come back to that later and uh, without further ado we can start the simulation running so as is normal with VeriCut we have the cut stock view uh, on the left we've got our machine simulation view on the right any errors of any type are displayed to us in the feedback window um, and recorded for us in the log file now we're getting a couple of uh, errors here regarding the shank of the tool so let's take a look zoom into this area here and we've just got a, a, a little band of, of, of red displaying around there um, this usually indicates that the uh, shank of the cutter is, is rubbing against the part so let's take a look at, uh, at what that is and why, should, why that should be so that's tool number five look at tool number five here so we've got a flute length of 0 0.3752 inches now a, a shortcut to convert that back into metric is 9.53 millimeters so the flute length appears to be defined as 9.53 millimeters so uh, let's close that and uh, let's uh, just jump back to uh, feature cam and see where that value is coming from so we can access the tool information through manufacturing tool manager the particular tool that was giving us the issue was uh, this guy here double click and here you can see the cut tool length or flute length as we call it in very cut is this 9.53 millimeters so I'm going to increase that make that say 18 millimeters the exposed cutter length which is the total stick out I'll make 25 apply okay okay save that now if we rerun the interface files are written again just jump back to uh, the export folder and if we take a look at tool number five we can see the flute length has now been adjusted this is an inch tool 0.59 um, inches equals the value of 80 millimeters we just put in great so uh, we can just run our simulation now and um, let's see if we have any issues remaining so there we go um, no shank issues um, simulation looks good to go 
log file, zero errors, zero reports. Here's an accurate cycle time. We're good to go. So that's a quick look at the FeatureCam 2011 interface to Vericut 7.1.4. Thank you.